green tea with lemon. <laughs> I'm, uh, every time winter starts for me, because I'm not a native Finnish person, because I'm from the UK originally, it's uh, it's a bit much. And it's just that it's only minus 12.5 this morning when I got up. I'm just having a quick brew. It's just started snowing. Check it out. The white death has started. It started the white death. I call it the white death. Not Simo Her had a sniper, but just the snow in general. I like it a bit, but if I was working from home, it's a cushy office job like my wife's got, then probably I wouldn't be so bothered about it, but yeah. I'm not so keen sometimes on the old snow. So there you are, the, the snow's pouring down. No, not really. Oh, that's my board there, look. There's me, that's me for hot. That's when we're doing my brain uh, storming and troubleshooting. When after work sometimes, you know, like when I'm thinking of a problem. So, there you are. I've not done the vlog for quite some time. Um, I've not, um, I've had no time really. I take too much stuff on me, that's my problem. But the channel's doing good, nearly 800 subs now, so I just need more of you really. So this uh, this one's gonna be about TPMS. And um, we had a crap one that we got two years ago, which was just so difficult to use, it was a pathetic French one. So I'll let you, uh, I'll let you into how good this thing too, as maybe you can buy it yourselves. And you don't need to buy the thing to Euro Master like what we have, which is expensive. You can just get the app on your Android or iPhone, a few hundred quid. And uh, you can buy the TPMS and no problem, just link it to the app. So let's crack into that. So we bought a tool about two years ago and it was crap. I won't lie, I won't make, mince my words about it. I won't give you the brand. It's some French one. It was complicated, the instructions were pathetic. It never really worked when you selected the manufacturer and the year of the model. It never read anything. Absolute garbage, pathetic, rubbish. So really, it was 200 euros wasted. You probably just throw it in the bin, to be honest, or sell it or whatever. So we've had the Think Tool for a couple of months now. Today, I've got a problem on a G11, G12 model. But basically, there is no fault. I've just used this wonderful Think Tool. I used it on the mobile app, on the Android. I've got an Android work phone. And I can tell you, once I did it, everything was seamless. I swear to God, as soon as I pressed the wand, as soon as I put the wand next to the tire pressure valve, it read it instantly. Absolutely amazing. And I've never in my life ever had anything on Bluetooth that communicates with a wand or any other device so fast without any problems. As soon as it updates on here, it updates on the on your phone as well. With the Think Diag Plus sort of application. So we've got 100% firmware installation now, so basically we'll crack on with the uh, procedure and I'll show you how it works. I love it. You'll love it and you'll buy it, I promise you. Think tool, best. So what's good about the Think tool is, essentially they always pair dead easy. So that's the serial number of the machine, of course. And then we're gonna pair it now with the device, but we're gonna do it on the Think tool first, then I'll just show you how to do it on the mobile app. I prefer the mobile app, it's easier really. So it's connecting there. It's as easy as that, it's paired already. It's got a really good Bluetooth these actually, in my opinion. So we're gonna select it, it's a G series, so we want seven series. The uh, G11, G12, 433 megahertz. And that's it essentially, so all you need to do is you do it in front left, front right, rear right, rear left. And essentially all you need to do is you can take the Think Tool with you, but what we'll do is we'll just do it by hand first and we'll, we'll bring it back to the Think Tool. Let's try, let's crack on. So I'll try and avoid the registration number, of course. Now I did this on the mobile app, it was great, so it'll be dead interesting to see how it works. All you need to do is just press OK, basically. There you go, just found it already. It's as simple as that. We go back to our device now. We should be able to see that it's all transmitted it on Bluetooth. There you go. Battery status normal. Uh, it has a hex number for it, so that's the identification. 15 degrees Celsius, 274 kilopascals. Now you can change that, and I don't like that, so I'll put it in bar. Or if you prefer PSI, you can use PSI. 
so 40 psi 2.7 bar it's as easy as that and there you go and then we now we can go to the next one so automatically now we're going to go to the front right just press the arrow down it automatically changes at the same time again avoiding the registration number and all you need to do is just do this wait activating please wait there we are it vibrates as well which is really nice we don't need to go to the machine actually we do because i need to know the order i forgot the order layout so it's rear right so watch the machine it'll update at the same time there you are, rear right so let's go to rear righty there we go that's done okay and lastly rear left Look how easy this is. No more pain when you're doing tyre pressure systems. Done. So that's all of them now done. All we need to do now is work out. Essentially, everything is looking pretty good. There you are. Temperatures are all quite reasonable. Pressures are looking good. Everything's looking pretty tasty. Now then. And what you can do with this, you can program stuff as well. Not that we need to do that, of course. But I'm not going to go into that in this uh, session. Then when you put a new one on, there's a learning process. It's quite complicated, the BMW learning process. What I like to do, I like to power off the Think Tool first, because obviously you don't want two lots of Bluetooth running. And we've got just an Android phone. It's an old Huawei. There's nothing really fancy. And it's a Think Tool Plus app you can get from the app store so first thing i like to do is i like to just power this on by holding the button there we are and in theory it should uh, there's all sorts of different apps on it but we want think tpms purchase device well i've already got one so i don't need to worry about that allow think diag to enable bluetooth it's not so good when you're filming another screen is it so it's kind of probably pretty much done there. Europe, it's the same again, BMW. Um, scroll down, 7 Series. And it's a G Series, not an F Series, so you want that one. Delete History Sense, yeah, let's delete that. And it's the same story as before, so we can go to KPA and we put that into bar. Because for me it's more, more easy. And it's the same basic thing, it's exactly the same as the Think Tool, it's just a mini version of the Think Tool. So it's just the same thing again. As what we did before basically, there's nothing like rocket scientists about it. But I just want to show you how it works the same way with mobile application. Yeah. Basically the same procedure. Front right. And by the way, you can put this almost any angle, but try and get it straight. As straight as you can. There we are. So easy to use. Rear right. I like stuff when it's easy. There we go. That's... Rear left. So that's all working as it should do now. We should have everything on our Android phone application. And it should mirror, there you are. This is good as that, so really, it's not very often you get Android applications that are so good with Bluetooth, but there you are. So if you don't have the luxury of a Think Tool, because they're quite expensive, the TPMS wand isn't that expensive really. I think it's a few hundred euro. You can just have an Android phone, you can just download this free app and just subscribe to the, uh, just sign into it, it's free. And all you need to do from that point then is register your serial number and the, the password which comes on a, a piece of paper in the kit. And again, for me, you can do your programming, the learning and the diagnosis. And it tries to sell you stuff all the time. I actually need one of them. 
So there you are. So so you don't really need to think to in, in some cases. This is enough. You see everything there. Battery status, normal. The pressures, that hex ID is everything. There you go. Awesome. So essentially what I had to do was um, to replicate the customer fault was leave it outside for two or three hours. I think it was two hours. It was quite cold, minus weather. And then the fault basically uh, replicated itself. It didn't do it inside, but it did it on the outside. So I'll just show you that now and show you what it looked like on the Android screen record as I was actually live outside with the Android phone and with the wand on the car park replicating the fault. So just goes to show you, you need to sometimes use environmental conditions to replicate. <laughs> of exactly why you need to environmentally test things when it's cold it failed outside after an hour or two inside it never failed so that's a good example of why you need to do that so yeah not really much to see though than the fact that i think tool is pretty good it's pretty good at uh, tire pressure monitoring it's very fast it's actually making my job a lot easier because the old one like i said was garbage i won't show you that french one it would crap we we'll throw that on ebay <laughs> finish equivalent of ebay Right, great. Keep subscribing and if you can watch the rest of my blog episodes, that'd be good and bring those watch times up on them, that'd be nice. Um, I'm going through a process of, uh, I'll probably start doing this blog a bit more often if there's enough interest uh, on different topics and stuff like that. And don't forget, I'm going to carry on with this podcast soon on Spotify, um, Grease Monkeys Debunk, so your eyes out for that. Thanks for watching, see you next time.